part of what we're going to see at Black Expo is surface finishing. And here we've got some rumbling systems. So if you could just talk us through well, what's going on here, first of all. Yeah, that's the deburring machine. You can round edges and make the surface of steel, metal parts. Uh, to just metal parts or plastic parts? Yeah, you can also use plastic parts from rapid prototyping. So. Okay, so what's, what's this actually got? What is this here? There are plastic chips. There are different kinds of media and chips you okay. can use. It depends on the application and you can have different shapes and grinding grades of the material. So oh, okay. And it's actually, this is actually, it's got a liquid on it. What's that? Yeah, that's a compound mixed with water to, to avoid dust and... Now, also, you've got a number of different components in here. Yeah. Are, are they going to damage each other by hitting each other? Yeah, at this configuration they can damage, but it's also possible to put in walls. Oh, okay. Then can separate the, the parts and... To make sure they're not... Okay. Now, this, the, these compounds are, you know, are fairly small, but even smaller here. So what's, what's going on here? Yeah, that's really fine grinding for polishing. Okay. That's uh, porcelain balls. Okay. And that's for wheel or medi uh, aerospace parts, uh, special parts. Really high precision parts. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do, it's not just about the rumblers and things like that. If we can come around here. So, what, what is this process here? It is for treat water systems because the water inside, there's a lot of dirt in the water. Okay. And if you want to recycle the water, you need this centrifuge ah, with a right, lots of right. g-force to put in the dust. Or and we've got another, so you've got a circular rumbler here, but what's this, what's this here? Yeah, after grinding, the, the parts are a little bit wet, so you have to dry them. And this dryer makes the last finish, it makes a little bit of polishing and to dry the parts that are free of any dust or any left water. Okay. And a great example of what you've got here is some before and afters and actually the, di the different media you use. So are these different, are these, is this all plastic? That's all plastic here for example. That's uh, ceramic chips, there's uh, different shapes and different sizes and there are also different um, grinding grades okay. if they're super fine grinding or medium grinding. So okay. you can choose and apply on your process. And an example of before and after, is it this, these ones yeah. here? For example here. That's a laser cutted aluminium part. After the laser, you have a little bit of edge, and here the yep. you want to remove. You put it in the machine, and it's three-dimensional grinded after a couple of minutes, or this part here. And then you turn on, on the corners here. It's going. What sort of accuracy is that going down to? It depends how long you uh, put in the parts in the machine. Um, if you only want 0 0.1 at the edge, it takes a couple of minutes. If you want more, it takes a little bit longer of processing time. So you can apply the process on your needs. So. Excellent. That's great. Great insight into a bit of surface finishing rumbling. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you too.